to another Fight of the Night review. This is for the one that took place last night at UFC 275 at the Singapore Indoor Stadium in Kaleng, Singapore, obviously. And it was the main event of UFC 275, I know I just said that, between Glover Teixeira and Yuri Prohaska. And uh, yeah, as always, go try and break it down round by round, bit by bit and bob by bob, and tell you my thoughts and feelings and such by the end. So, let's go. We begin, as always, with round one, and even before the fight actually starts, the two are showing really nice respect to each other, um, doing good glove touches like they did too, while the ref, Mark Goddard, one of the best refs in the biz, uh, was giving them the talk about, you know, protect yourselves at all times, when I tell you to stop, you stop, so on and so forth. Anyway, Glover starts finding his rhythm quite early, Yuri's throwing a good jab up there, but Glover starts landing the bigger stuff quite early on, I think he lands a head kick at some point as well. They're both throwing kicks initially at first, but Glover does eventually uh, manage to catch one and turn Yuri over on his back and sort of get uh, get the drop on him, jumps on him, and starts landing some vicious ground impact. He's staying on top of Yuri, he's landing some amazing shots, lands some really good elbows and really good punches. Yuri, to his credit, is defending quite well. He is almost caught in a rear naked choke, and that becomes a frequent thing throughout this fight. Glover is trying to really go for that rear naked joke, it's his go-to submission, and he does attempt it in round one, uh, more than once I believe, but Yuri manages to get up and um, manages to escape it, you know, manages to get the, fi uh, the fight standing, which is where he's at his best, he does throw some of his wild stuff, usually he throws some really good hooks that do catch uh, Glover, but Glover's countering well with the jab and the leg kick, and gets another takedown near the end of round one, and again, it's landing some really good stuff, um, but yeah, Yuri's countering quite well for the most part. However, round one, definitely in favor of Glover. He just had more control. His takedowns were really good. His clinch was really good. Uh, Yuri's um, own groundwork was actually not bad, and he defended a couple of takedowns too. He still got taken down, and he didn't land as much as I think he wanted to, and Glover was landing really well. His boxing looked super sharp. He caught Yuri with some really good hook combos. Um, he did eat an assy upcut, though, from Yuri. So, yeah, round one, very exciting, but definitely in favor of Glover. We then get to round two, and for a long chunk of time, like for the first two minutes, not a lot's happening. They're both sort of reading each other. Yuri is using his weird clay guido like movement, and Glover is not really throwing a lot for the most part. And I said to myself as I was watching, oh, they're not really doing much. And then the moment I say Yuri starts throwing some stuff, he catches Glover with a good uppercut, some good shots of the body. Then, while Glover's back's against the cage, uh, Yuri lands a flying knee that knocks Glover down. And he's uh, punishing him for it. He's landing some really, really good punches from the top. He's sort of gotten Glover, like, on his back from that, obviously. Uh, just going for a lot of really good stuff. Glover is recovering well, although he's eating some nasty bombs from Yuri. Yuri's is, Yuri's, like, mounted up quite well, landing some really good punches, and again, good elbows from the top. Utilizing his own ground movement quite well to counter Glover, who himself is really good when it comes to the ground game. However, if I remember right near the end of round two, Yuri does go for another flying knee, but... Um, Glover lands a nasty punch on him and then manages to sort of like get Yuri on his back and starts throwing some punches and elbows. I've said punches and elbows a lot in this video, but the elbows he lands are actually quite important because they open a cut above Yuri's eye and that causes it to bleed quite badly. Well, it causes it to bleed enough, you know, and it does look more horrible as it goes along. And again, uh, Glover goes for some good submission attempts. I think he throws up an arm triangle at some point. And again, goes for another rear naked choke, but round two, even though it didn't make it sound like it was in favor of Yuri, it definitely goes to Yuri. His striking was just much more on point. He got more into his flow um, by like the by the two minutes gone mark in round two. And Glover was doing his best to counter as well. He did land a really good right that did stun Yuri, but Yuri definitely got the better of Glover. He was throwing some more stuff. He was just being, uh, putting his own combos together a bit better. He was countering the takedowns a lot more too. I don't think he was taken down once in round two. Might have just been once actually. I don't know. But yeah, round two, very, very close. Still very exciting in favor of Yuri for me. Before I move on to round three, I did want to bring up something that I forgot to mention about round two, which is sort of near the start. Glover accidentally poked you in the eye. It wasn't really a major thing, and the referee did let slide, and they were quite forgiving about it, like Yuri forgave Glover for it, so uh, yeah, quite nice of him to do that, but I wanted to bring that up really quick before I move on to round three. We then get to round three, and round three, I won't lie, is pretty much all Yuri Prohaska. He starts landing some stuff early. He does throw another flying knee at some point in round three. That doesn't land like the one he did in round two. Um, but yeah, he is absolutely all over Glover. He's, 
I just realized how well that rhymes. He's landing some amazing hooks, though, throwing to the body a lot more as well. Setting stuff up with his jab, and I think that's something he should have done more in the earlier rounds. Um, throwing amazing kicks as well. He throws a really good body kick, throws a good leg kick at some point, too. Multiple of them, I would say. Uh, yeah, just absolutely really landing his head hunting and aiming up top. Landing some unorthodox stuff as well, like he has... Glover in a tie clinch and lands a good couple of knees while in the, in the middle. I think it might have been in round 2, could be in round 3. I don't fully remember. I'm too... My brain's too excited talking about the fight because it was really, really good. But he does have Glover against the cage at some point with a clinch and lands some, like, striking up elbows and, like, pushes them forward, which, again, is legal and looks really cool. But they didn't really seem to do the most damage, although uh, he does go, again, for, like... Actually, no, I'm getting out the wrong. I was mixing up a part of round two with round three just then, which was the part where he went for the flying knee and Glover tagged him. I already mentioned that in round two. But in round three, no, he uh, actually manages to take Glover down and gets the mount and starts laying some strikes on Glover and opens a cut, like, sort of round the bridge of the nose, close to the left eye of Glover. And again, the cut is quite bad, much like the one that uh, Yuri suffered, which was completely fine throughout round three because he wasn't really hurt much in round three was Yuri. But yeah, round three... Pretty much all Yuri Prohaska, he was landing so many good things and putting his stuff together way, way better. Found his flow and, uh, yeah, tagged Glover early and often. Kept following up with some really good combos. Uh, Glover did land a couple of good stuff, I th uh, a, cu a couple of good stuff, a couple of good shots. I think he did get taken down briefly and land some stuff from the top, but uh, didn't really last long. And, yeah, round three goes to Yuri. We then get to round four, and you get the feeling that Glover is sort of on the back foot. Um, it, he's, like, been busted open, and not as badly as Yuri was. And he sort of knows that, and he's going for some boxing combos early, and they're landing. Yuri's eating some nasty shots pretty early in round four, and Glover is just keeping up with him. He's staying on Yuri, trying to smother him. He did go for some good groundwork in round three when Yuri had him on the back foot, but it wasn't didn't really amount to much. But in round four, he's putting it together a lot better. He's utilizing his um, positioning very well on the ground uh, when he does knock Yuri down, and he does knock him down. He lands a beautiful like head kick at some point, which catches him. And, yeah, just really good boxing combos. And has Yuri against the cage, landing a lot of really good stuff. He does go for a takedown at some point. Uh, well, he goes for more than one in round four. And lands more than one in round four. Um, there's a great moment where he has Yuri against the cage after Yuri already avoided a takedown. And he clasps his hands tightly around the hips and gets a really good sweep and takedown. It looks smooth as hell. And, yeah, he manages to get a really good mount up. Like, one of the best mounts I think I've ever seen in a UFC fight. And lands some amazing shots down Yuri. Starts to really open up the cut above Yuri's left eye. I think the cut um, on Glover's face was more close to the right eye. But it was somewhere across the bridge. And I don't remember that much. Maybe the full, this forehead-ish area. But yeah, round four. Definitely more in favour of Glover. His groundwork was a lot more on point. His submission turns were, f again, fantastic. Like they have been throughout the rest of the rounds up until this point. But Yuri is just toughing it out and using his intelligence and grabbing the arms to make sure that Glover isn't able to really fully sink anything in. And the closest it looks for the most part. But yeah, Glover's ground work was amazing. His striking work was amazing. And while it was close in some areas, I do give round four ultimately to Glover. We then get to the fifth and final round and the two men start with a nice hug. And I love seeing that in the last fight of a main event like this between two nice respectful guys like Glover Teixeira and Yuri Prohaska. It's just something I quite like seeing. But yes, if you're keeping score with my round scoring system, my totally unbiased and well-informed round scoring system, rounds one and four I give to Glover, rounds two and three I gave to Yuri. And Glover is starting really well in round five. He's opening up with a vicious combo and he's tagging Yuri off early and often. He lands a great left uppercut and right overhand that looked like... It almost looked like it knocked Yuri out. Like, he was down after that. But yeah, Glover manages to stay on top of him and gets a good takedown eventually, too, and is immediately going after him with takedown attempts. I think he actually... At first, it starts with him pushing Yuri against the cage and going for a guillotine, but Yuri manages to pop his head up. But Glover manages to, again... Get, um, get Yuri on his back and mounts him with a vicious looking arm triangle. And he doesn't initially get it, but he's holding onto it tight and Yuri does not tap. He's got his like left arm free and he's got it over the back of uh, Glover and the referee's asking him if he's fine. And he keeps taking his thumb up like, yeah, I'm good, I'm fine. Eventually Glover does switch to a more side control style arm triangle, which is a much better and tighter looking arm triangle. And Yuri again throws his thumb up saying he's fine. 
And after some amazing grunge grumbling too, they do eventually get back to their feet. And then I think Glover eventually manages to get another takedown after being hit with some really good strokes and landing some really good ones against Yeri. But, oh man, it does not go well for Glover near the end of the fight. He goes for an amazing takedown, again attacking with a rear naked choke, and goes for another really great one. Uh, I just remember near the end of round one, so he goes for a naked choke, but he's too high up on the back. But anyway, back to round five. So he goes for a rear naked choke, but Yiri, amazing composure, sweeps around like a gorgeous sweep, takes Glover's back, pushes him against the cage with about 30 odd seconds left, sinks in the rear naked choke from the side, and Glover taps. And Yuri Prohaska is your new UFC light heavyweight champion with 30 seconds, technically 28, uh, according to the time here left in the fight so let's talk about it i do want to apologize if my full analysis was not the best but oh my god this fight was fucking incredible there were like miniature dips in action i think the biggest one was probably the start of round two especially after the accidental light poke but this fight was pretty much all action all the way through just really big silly ridiculous moments by two absolute hosses like the light heavyweight division is getting a massive resurgence from shit like this especially after Glover won the title only last year with a rear naked choke, and then he lost it via rear naked choke to Yuri, and in my opinion, Yuri is not even 30 yet, he's going to be 30 in October, and I think the future of the light heavyweight division is safe with him as the figurehead. But yeah, the fight was just absolutely incredible all the way through, love the emotion on display, love how every shot felt like it mattered, the groundwork was phenomenal too, the multiple submission attempts from Glover, especially his most patented submission with the rear naked choke, Yuri's wild striking, and Yuri actually calming down a little bit, not going for as much wild stuff, and Glover's boxing still being fantastic as well, just gorgeous stuff from both these men, really great grand traditions, and counters to the takedowns, and the actual takedowns were brilliant, so just everything about this fight, was pretty much goddamn perfect, and it might just be, I know we're, like, we've got six more months to go, it might just be my fight of the year so far, I really, really love this, and I would absolutely recommend that you go find it now, and watch it while you can, because I, it took me a while to find a good site to watch it, but goddamn it was worth it, it was so, so worth it. And that'll about do it for the review, absolutely watch the fight, it was phenomenal, congrats on Yuri for becoming the new Light Heavyweight Champion, and sad for Glover to have lost, but I would love to see them run this one back, title or not, I just thought this fight was incredible. As for the next video from me though, uh, tomorrow, pretty important vlog, I was, I did say on Friday as well, um, when I posted my stream link on my multiple social media sites, I was going to stream tonight, but then I finished Sunset Overdrive last night, so I have to take a break to finish editing that and then get that that let's play cobbled together and then i've got to write notes for psychonauts 2 so i'm not completely aimless when i get around to that one but that'll yeah that'll be for then the next thing i can promise you besides the vlog tomorrow is tuesday night the go home show for ppw vs abw4 over the top which is going to be next friday and that's pretty much everything else i can think of to say i'll see you all tomorrow for the vlog and tuesday night for more ppw vs abw as always thank you for watching you're awesome Bye bye